What if you're a parent like me and you're looking to buy your kids something for Christmas, which isn't just a console game that they sit there playing for ages whilst they get more and more obese. What if you're looking for something which is going to stretch their minds a little bit, something that's going to interest them, something basically which you're going to give them and end up doing yourself? How about a hovergraph kit? This is a great little kit. This, this is the powered hovergraph kit from Number One for Science and Nature um, Technology Kit. And it's basically an educational kit which teaches kids about science at the same time as giving them a little bit of fun. What do you get inside is um, some draft excluder. You get a uh, battery pack which takes four AAAs. It does say that on the box, but batteries are something you always run out of at Christmas. There's a ready-built electric motor with fan and instruction manual. And then we've also got the actual parts for the whole craft as well, which basically look a bit like one of those polystyrene trays which you put your steak on in Sainsbury's. And then there's the all-important and highly technical um, paper fasteners which holds the whole thing together. So the idea basically is that we're going to turn this into that. Okay, so here's all our bits and pieces, and to simulate exactly what you do on Christmas Day, which is trying to build this as fast as possible without reading the instructions because you want to go and watch Steve Queen in The Great Escape, we're going to have a crack as well. So we've only put an hour's tape in there, so I am up against it on the time, but check back in a minute to see how I've got on. <laughs> I need the instructions. <laughs> Way up is that? Oh, so that's the cabin. Sides, I think. And lay the component on a flat tabletop with the shiny side downwards. They're both shiny. Fit the airbox walls to the floor. I'm starting to think. Oh right, I've got it now. I see. You have to look ahead, you'll have to look ahead a bit, and then you can see what it should look like, and then that gives you an idea of what you are actually doing. Right, got it. Got it. So I've got to open up the air box. Right, so I'm making a box which goes around that on three sides. If I can get these bloody things. Push the paper fasteners in the air box assembly through the dimple. The paper fasteners I've already closed to hold the air box assembly together. Yeah. <laughs> What's the string for? I don't know what the string's for. Oh dear lord. Right, what's wrong with Barbie dolls? That's what I want to know. Right, okay. I think that's about right, to be honest. Still, it's a little bit front heavy to me. So I'll try moving this box back a little bit further. Right, so there you go. So that's the basic hovercraft actually made, which is actually, um, apart from it being quite fiddly um, and uh, a little bit advanced even for me, um, it wasn't too bad. So there's the finished product now. Um, and it's a, it a working hovercraft. Ideal toy for someone who's uh, a little bit technically minded, maybe taking things apart all the time to find out how they work. And uh, it took me about three hours to build, so they'll probably knock it out in 15 minutes. But at least it gives you a little bit of peace and quiet. Um, and that is the hovercraft kit from uh, Interplay on their um, Techno Kit flight models. And uh, let's go, 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 go. Need a bigger room. Works after a fashion. If I could be bothered to fit the skirt, it will probably actually work. No, oh, James, you can use it as one of your cooling systems. Take it outside. See how it goes outside. Need to adjust the rudder. Just testing. <laughs> well, my hovercraft blows, it doesn't suck. <laughs> there we go. Pride of place. <laughs>